Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to make a chicken avocado black bean salad. This is two chicken breasts. As you can see how I've cut those up there. Extra virgin olive oil, garlic. We're going to use some honey, black pepper, some black beans, ancho chili powder, any chili powder would do, some ground cumin. We're going to use four limes. That is about a tablespoon and a half of just plain white vinegar. We've got some red onions there, some green onions, spring onions, whichever you want to call them, some cilantro, and then I've got two avocados here. I've got that spoon in there simply because I put a little lime juice in there to prevent it from turning brown on us until we get to that point. Then we got one of those little small cartons of cherry tomatoes. Here is your shot of everything we're going to use to make this absolutely amazing and delicious dish. Let's get cooking, you guys. All right, I've got this skillet over here heating up. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to get that chicken on in there. And this is going to take about 10 minutes. I'm going to have stir it on up in there, get that olive oil coated on that chicken breast, okay? Then we're going to go in with about a tablespoon of the cumin, a little more, and the same with the chili powder, about a tablespoon or so, okay? I'm going to also put in about that same amount, a tablespoon of black pepper. And then we're just going to cook this up, let it brown up a little bit for us. And this is going to take about 10 minutes, okay? So you want to get this good and well incorporated, stir that on up and get that chili and pepper and cumin on the rest of that chicken. And then we're just going to let her cook, all right? 10 minutes, I'll be back. All right, our chicken is looking really good. I made sure all the pink is out. But one step that I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in a half a cup of water. And I'm just going to let this cook another five minutes just to ensure that my chicken is cooked through and through. Okay? We don't want raw chicken. No, sir. No, ma'am. So I'm going to let this cook for another five minutes just to ensure that we got that chicken good and done. All the pink is done. Okay? Five minutes. I'll be back. All right, our chicken has been going for that five minutes, and I know my chicken is done. Okay, now what I'm going to go in with, as my spoon hits the floor, real kitchen, real people, I'll get another one. <laughs> you want to put in about three to four cloves or tablespoons of garlic. I love garlic. Okay, and then you would normally just that in there. I have to get another utensil because the one I had decided it didn't want to be a part of the family. So we're going to let this go for a minute and it's going to start smelling absolutely amazing in here. You know garlic does something. Onions, bell peppers, garlic, all that does something once it hits a skillet, you know? So we're going to let this go for a minute, and then I'll be back, and we'll go to the next step. All right, now we've got those black beans in there. Make sure you drain the can. You can rinse them or not. Either way, it'll be just fine. And we're going to let this go for a minute or two. We just pretty much want the beans to kind of warm through, okay? And that's what we're doing here. Just letting those beans warm right on through. All right, so I'll be back once we get this part. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. How about that? I'll just be back in a couple of minutes. All right. All right, these beans have warmed through. The chicken is completely done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off the fire. I'm going to let it cool off the, off the, I'm going <laughs> to let it cool for just a minute. If I can get my words out. I'm going to let it cool for just a second. So I'm going to give this five minutes. And then we're going to mix the rest of the ingredients together. And our salad will be done. I'll be right back. All right, let's start building this delicious salad. I'm going to go in first. 
put in those that delicious chicken that we made with the black beans in it. And this salad can be served cold or warm. It doesn't matter. It's delicious either way. Okay? So it's perfect for a picnic or some pop look where you don't have to worry about heating things up. All right? Absolutely marvelous. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the lime first. So I can get that lime all over that chicken just because that's what I like to do. There is no order that you have to do this in. My family, we love sandwiches. We love salads during this time of the year. But we also love to still eat our normal, regular meals. You hear me? I still want to turn on that oven, even though it may be a little hot, and make some deliciousness, okay? So, yeah, I love the salads and the sandwiches, but I still got to have a good old hearty meal sometimes. <laughs> you know? Can't let the heat stop the show. No, no, no. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, okay? I've got a lot of people who watch my videos and everything, but they're just not subscribed. Could you please go ahead and hit that button? Subscribe to the channel. Show Gigi some love. Okay? Come on and support the channel. Alright? Please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, we almost get all those lines in there. And like I said, this is delicious. I mean, you can take this. This is a good one to take anywhere. I mean, it travels really well. But just remember that one thing I will say about this particular salad is that because you've got the avocado in there, you know, you have to be mindful of that when, um, how long you can keep it in the refrigerator. Tomatoes, it'll probably last you, this salad will probably go a good three days before the avocado starts turning colors. It does not mean that it's not good, because it is still good. It's just merely just sort of changing colors, okay? Look at that. See what we already got going on right now? Look what's already happening. I'm going to go in with those red onions. I'm going to go in with that little bit of a tablespoon of vinegar. I'm going to go in with that cilantro. Yes, yes. We're going to hit it with that avocado. Mm-hmm. And we're going to give it a nice little jush, but not before. We add just a little drizzle of honey in there. And this is optional. I'm going to put in a good, I would say, two tablespoons. And you can absolutely leave the honey out. I just like that little something extra in the background of mine. Okay? Mix this all up very well. Look at that. The colors are there. The flavor is there. You can also, this is a good time once you mix all this up, taste it, and see if you want to add a little garlic salt. Or I don't want to add anything to mine. But, you know, your kitchen, your rules, your family's going to eat it. So this is a good time to taste and see if you want to add some cumin, some pepper. If you prefer a little salt, this is a good time to see. That's why this is a good time at this point for you to taste it and see where you're at. I'm going to come back and she's going to be plated up. All right. If I could move the spoon out the way there, right? And I'm going to plate her up for you and let you see her close up. All right. I'll be right back. And there she is. Look at that. Healthy and absolutely delicious. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. You know me. You'll see me on the next one. Take care, you guys.